According to many leading sources, including the security firm Symantec, security firm F-Secure, and Ralph Langer, an industrial computer expert, the Stuxnet worm could have only been written by a nation state. The sheer complexity of the worm indicates as much. Now, these experts were quoted by the BBC. If you're not familiar with the worm, it is a malicious program that seems to have been programmed to target Iran. The infection rates of this worm have been much, much higher in the Middle Eastern nation than anywhere else. The semantics showed that nearly 60% of all infections were in Iran. Liam Murchu of the security firm Semantic told BBC News, the fact that we see so many more infections in Iran than anywhere else in the world makes us think that the threat was targeted at Iran and that there was something in Iran that was of very, very high value to whomever wrote it. The strange thing about this worm is that it is the first known worm programmed to attack real-world physical infrastructure. It's not like other viruses. They attack by getting into a system through a connection via the internet. However, this worm infects Windows via a USB connection like a flash drive. In other words, someone has to physically place the worm into the system intended for infection. Once inside the system, it's programmed to target specific configuration of industrial control software made by Siemens. Uh, the worm has the power to reprogram PLC, or Programmable, programmable Logic Control, uh, which is... a uh, which is attached to industrial machinery to give it uh, new instructions. In addition, it exploited several previously unknown and unpatched vulnerabilities in Windows known as zero-day exploits. Microsoft has only patched two of these flaws. Uh, many believe that the worm was intended to disrupt the nuclear power plant of Busher or the uranium enrichment plant in Natanz, which makes sense given that it's found its way heavily into Iranian infrastructure. It's very likely given Iran's infection rate and the fact that it was certainly created by a nation state. The complexity of the worm was so great that experts say it would have required a massive effort and a great deal of uh, funding to create such a malicious program. It's funny how I just did a program, a story on Cuba, creating their own operating system to avoid situations just like this. I would think that Iran and Amenajad might want to consider doing the same. The CIA is no stranger to using technology-based attacks on foreign countries.